Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I want to thank you all for 500 subscribers on my new YouTube channel, Simon Says. I have a video coming out today which I think you'll really enjoy. The Mega Halo fan vote is entering its third round and the third week and this has just been such a fun thing to cover in general. The six options for armor coatings for your Spartans are Electric Bubblegum, Estate Gold, Opulent Bronze, Carabas Sirico, Neon Superfly and Unicorn Dream. For those not up to speed, let me catch you up. The Mega Halo fan vote returns for its third year. In the first year, we voted for a Halo hero. Second year, a new set. This time, we're voting for the coatings on two fire teams, a Warthog and a Mongoose. In round one, we voted for the coating on the Warthog, and the winner was Neon Super Fly. And in round two, we were voting on a Mongoose. Gen 12 was the winner. They are two coatings that I am really excited to see win, although uh, I know a lot of people wanted Pop Dolly to win last week just because it's so bizarre. But the Gen 12 stood out to me because it's a Mongoose coating that we've never even seen an asset for in Halo Infinite. We've seen assets for a Warthog version of the Gen 12, but it has never even released, and we've never seen a Mongoose coating. So it's really cool to see that Mega is going to be producing a coating for a Mongoose that hasn't even been released in the game yet. And once all these rounds are finished, pre-orders will go up in March, and then this set will ship exclusively on Mattel Creations next year. And I'm led to believe that next month might be the only time you can pre-order this set, the only time it will ever be stocked. So round one and two have been signed, sealed, and delivered. But what about round three? Now, I was really interested to see how round three would shape up. Mega confirmed that we were voting on coatings, armor coatings specifically for our fire team. Count it, plural fire teams. There are two different fire teams in this image. So I was always wondering, are we voting on two different coatings? Are we gonna vote on like sets of two? Actually, what they've done is six different coatings and the top two armor coating votes will be produced in this set. We can also finally confirm that the two new helmets are Stormfall and Firefall. We can actually see them very clearly here. And it's just really cool to see that 343 is actually making proper renders of these fire teams for Mega. Like, it's really dope that they're doing that. We can also see in the original image cybernetic limbs and a new chest. Round three, fire teams. Choose two options for the Mega Halo Infinite building set. Opens February 18th and closes February 19th. You can only vote once, and your vote is submitted once you click on an image choice and cannot be changed. So you get to choose two coatings here. I'm gonna break down exactly what these coatings are, when they've been released in the game. There's actually some really interesting ones. And then it's up to you to vote for your two favorites. And on Wednesday next week, we'll have announced a winner. And then at the end, there's a secret round four, which I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. We'll start with all six of these coatings. We'll run down exactly where they're from. I guess the easiest place to start is the Neon Superfly. It was the winner of round one and the Warthog coating came came in the Neon Superfly bundle. This was available January 17th, 2023, and then November 22nd and January 18th, 2022. And originally it was released during the Cyber Showdown event. It's 1200 credits, all three times released, and comes with the Neon Superfly weapon and vehicle armor coatings, the Will-O-Wisp visor, and the combat reload stance. I gotta say I'm a big fan of this one. Neon Superfly won the Warthog coating, so it would naturally be cool to see the Spartans be able to match the Warthog. The next one is quite simple. The Carabat Sirico. This was actually just achieved by reaching level 66 on the original Series 1 Heroes of Reach Battle Pass. So this was super common and it must be owned by the majority of Halo Infinite players. So for me, this might get a vote because it's a very popular one because most people have probably donned this in game. The Carabat Sirico is, is pretty standard. It's, it's a nice color and I know that a lot of people like to vote based on realistic military colors. So if you want to vote for a realistic color scheme, maybe go Kiribati. The other coating that you could get from just unlocking it through a battle pass was the electric bubble gun. This was available at level six of the Cyber Showdown in season one of Heroes of Reach. Now, I'm seeing some interesting pairings here, which I'll go into in a little bit. The Electric Bubblegum is just a nice, plain color. It's a cool fire team that just stands out on its own. And maybe if you're a fan of like these hot pink colors, you might go for this one. I personally like my neon pink, electric blue kind of coatings. I think they're always really dope in fire teams. So we got the Electric Bubblegum to boot. Then we've got two coatings that were available for purchase in the game. And we'll start with Opulent Bronze. This was available in the Opulent Display Pack, which was 
on sale for October 4th and September 6th, 2022. It was 1100 credits and came with the opulent bouquet, opulent bronze, opulent butterfly emblem and logo, and the opulent pose. A lot of opulence there. Yeah, I, I saw a few people uh, thought this was a nice goofy coating. I've seen a couple of people wearing those floral shoulders in game. And I do love bronze and golds. I think they would both go together very well. Let's talk about that estate gold. Available November 25th, November 20th, November 10th, and February 8th. 600 credits, and it was just the armor coating. And you can tell because it was released four times that it was a very popular one with the fans. The estate gold is also just such a dope mix between blue and golds. I always think like royal blue and gold work really well together. In my time painting Warhammer 40k miniatures, I always love that with Space Marines. It's not an easy decision, and I'm gonna change it up a little bit today. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm going to vote for or which two I'm gonna vote for because I want you to make your decision on your own. There's some really cool choices and that brings us to the last one, Unicorn Dream, which is pretty crazy because this one's a 343 executive exclusive. You are not allowed to don this, I don't think from my research, unless you actually work for 343 Industries, which is pretty cool. We've had a lot of different 343 exclusives in the past, like Unicorn Ice, but a lot of them have been unlockable by the general public by being featured on the Halo Spotlight every month. I, for one, have a couple of the different unicorn emblems and, and logos and things, and from Halo 5 Guardians for having some of the domain videos on the Halo Spotlight, which has been a great honor. Going way back in the day, it was the flaming helmet with Bungie in Halo 3 and Reach, and yeah, it's cool to see that um, Mega, I wonder if like Mega was asked to do this by 343, or they just thought it was a really cool exclusive, because like maybe if you can't unlock this in game, then maybe you'll want to do it here. Now, the interesting thing I've seen with this, a lot of these coatings, uh, they seem to be a natural pairs. They seem like, I think Mega's done a little bit of um, business to try and make these all sort of pair off with each other. If you may have noticed, the Neon Superfly and the Electric Bubblegum are both from the Cyber Showdown. And maybe fans of that kind of cybernetic, cyberpunk uh, aesthetic will vote for both of those together. Then we've got a State Gold and Opulent Bronze, you know, Gold and Bronze. Nice pairings together. I feel like those two go, you know, together as a pair. Caraba Sirico and and Unicorn Dream, like they're both quite mute, quite basic, but nice colored highlights through the jumpsuit and through through different armor accents. Because you can vote for two, I think they've made them in like natural pairs. The Neon Superfly and the Electric Bubblegum, the Kiriba Sirico and the Unicorn Dream, and the Estate Gold and Opulent Bronze. I feel like they are natural pairs. And I'm gonna run, uh, similar as I've done the last few weeks, a little poll on my Discord where you can vote on the Discord and we can see which one gathers the most emojis, so that's always fun. Link to my Discord, as always, in the description down below. If we're talking about natural pairs, and something that would go together well as an actual set, I think it's obvious to say that the Neon Superfly Warthog and the Gen 12 Mongoose would go really well with the Neon Superfly and Estate Gold armor coatings because it's a mix. Well, it's obviously the Neon Superfly with the Neon Superfly and then the Gold with the Gold. I think it would just uh, work really well. I could also see that Opulent Bronze working very nicely with the Gen 12 Mongoose as well. Voting for this round will continue until the end of the weekend and then the winner will be announced on Wednesday of next week and then on Friday of next week, there'll be a secret round four. I would like you to comment down below with what armor coatings you want to see and what you think the secret round four will be. I can confirm that this round four will impact this set directly. It is only about this set. And um, yeah, it's really cool. You guys are really going to enjoy it. I cannot wait to see what these actually look like in Mega Form. One of the things my buddy Jonathan highlighted is concerns over how a lot of these paint apps are actually going to translate to Mega Figures. For example, I'm quoting him here because he's better at this than me. A lot of versions of the Neon Superfly, for example, wouldn't have a place to go when applied to the overused Reach forearms. Pieces that have been reused over time that aren't necessarily Halo Infinite pieces from Mega. So maybe they're going to have to redesign some of the ways colors move in between these Spartan models. I'll be excited to see how they do it. So the Mega Halo fan vote round three is underway and I cannot wait to see the result. This has been, uh, this is actually going to definitely be the most exciting round. <laughs> I've definitely put in my votes, but uh, I'm so excited to see what the final result is and and um, this one's a little more unclear to me. I really also hope Mega releases the actual percentage statistics at the end of this on all three rounds. That would be really dope. So as always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Stick it with this channel for all your Halo Mega news.